Hey everyone out there, it's Wednesday, March 13th. It is the best day of the week. It is New Comics Wednesday, and I've got my poll list for this week. Before I get into that, I just wanted to show off a couple of other stuff. Um, here we have Mind the Gap number four. This was one that I was missing in my collection. This fills a gap. I saw the other version of this cover floating around, but this was the one I wanted by Rodan Esquiho, so I picked this one up. I also saw this one, Mind the Gap issue number three. This is the Scotty Young variant cover and I was actually looking for this and I just found this in the back issue bin so decided to pick that one up. LJ Kelly Collectibles on his new channel. He hooked me up with some of these signings by Jim McCann. He was, Jim was, in one of the stores down in California and I was able to get LJ to help me pick up some Phantom variants and luckily Jim McCann was there so he picked up, LJ did, picked up Mind the Gap issue number seven signed by Jim McCann. Uh, I would have done an unboxing, but our lovely friends at the Canadian-U.S. border, they always make me open all my packages before I cross the border so I can show them what's inside. And these are the Phantom variants that I had asked uh, Callie to pick up for me. This is Las Vegas, issue number one, Phantom variant. This is also written by Jim McCann, who writes Mind the Gap. So, got the Phantom variant, and LJ got the signature there, Jim McCann. I'm going to take a closer look. And that one is, I believe her name's Karen Lee, uh, who's the artist, and she also signed it. So there's that. And uh, n another nice Phantom variant. This is Bedlam issue number five. So big thanks to LJ Cali Collectibles for picking these Phantom variants up for me. And we're getting the signatures. Really appreciate it, buddy. And next it is the regular pull list for the week. So start off with my DC titles. We have a bat heavy week from DC. We have Batgirl issue number 13. Barbara Gordon, Requiem for Robin Morning. Yeah. Huh. I didn't even notice the Robin there, but that one is, I guess, a Requiem issue. We have Batman, issue number 13, Robin's Boots, and another Robin. I, I didn't actually notice the Robins when I was picking these up in the store. And I also picked up Batman and Robin, issue number 18. Not reading this, but I've heard some really amazing things about this. It's all, there's no words in this at all, so it's all just art. And I hear that even just the heart, art by itself tells a very powerful story. So I am waiting to get my copy of Batman Inc. number 8 in the mail. I ordered the first printing of that from Midtown. They had those available for cover price. So I ordered that one. I think that one should be in on the weekend. But I'm going to wait until that one comes in before I read the Bat titles from this week. I also picked up Detective Comics number 18 from last week because that's another Ray Cream issue and because it was a really awesome cover. And the last DC title I picked up this week was Suicide Squad. So I got 17 on the weekend. That one's from my online orders. So I'm going to have to read that one before I read this one. So um, yeah, so I guess even though I picked up four DC books this week, I'm not going to be reading any of them until the weekend, until I get caught up on some other stuff. Next, we have my Marvel stuff. So, Avengers Arena, issue number six. Number five was getting better, so I didn't drop it. But here's issue number six. We'll see where uh, Dennis Hopeless goes with this. Fearless Defenders, issue number two. Really cool cover. Throwback to the 80s toys where you have Danny Moonstone in the packaging. And it looks like... If you didn't notice it, if you looked at it from afar, you'd think this was um, a toy package. But it's not. So that's a really nice cover. And I saw the cover for issue number five. It's a playoff of Mortal Kombat. So that is going to be a really ridiculous cover. Uh, the next Marvel title I picked up was Secret Avengers, issue number two. Taskmaster is joining the series. I really liked the first issue a lot. I really liked uh, what Nick Spencer did with the whole premise of S.H.I.E.L.D. mind-wiping Hawkeye and Black Widow. So 
I'll be interested to see where they go with that story and with uh, Taskmaster on this. And the last, no, the second to last Marvel title I got this week was Thor, God of Thunder, issue number six. This is a start of a new story arc, and uh, Sam Rebecca is no longer doing the art on this. I don't know whether he's just taking a break or he's off completely, but I mentioned that to someone in the store today, and he didn't even notice. So he flipped their book and he said, hmm, he was going to drop it from his list. But I tried to convince him that Jason Aaron's doing the amazing writing, but I guess he was more a fan of the art than the story. So that's his loss. I still think it's one of the best series that Marvel's just running with right now. Thor, God of Thunder, issue number six. Oops. And the last Marvel title I got was Uncanny X-Men, issue number three. So this one has been released on a regular bi-weekly schedule. And... Yeah, yeah, I remember issue number two at the end, Shield comes. So I'm going to be looking forward to see what happens in this issue. When it um, looks like Magneto's going to have some big things, or he's just put on the cover because. So I'm looking forward to reading that one and seeing how uh, the Shield interaction works. So those are the Marvel titles. Next are all the indie books. We have from Image. Three of Four, End Times of Bram and Ben. This has been a consistently fun book to read and I always look forward to reading it. There's only two issues left. There's this one and then one more. So uh, I'm looking forward to continuing the ride with this. Next is Mind the Gap, issue number eight. Really like what Jim McCann is doing with this series. It's There's a lot of questions that um, he makes the reader ask. And uh, I like it. I like it a lot. It's probably on par with Morning Glories. Next, Walking Dead issue number 108. I still need to catch up on everything after Something to Fear. So I won't be reading this probably until next week or the week after, sadly. And issue number two of Ghostbusters. So... I gave the first one a shot and I enjoyed it enough to continue picking it up. So we'll see what happens in this issue. This is from IDW and uh, we'll see if uh, it captures my attention long enough for me to continue pulling this. And the last indie book I got this week was Star Wars issue number three. It looks like we're going to get some more from Hans and it looks like Obi-Wan might be featured in this, but we'll see. Really enjoyed this series so far. So that is it. That is my pull list for the week. Uh, I just wanted to do some notes here. Um, so I picked up 14 books this week, and I'm not going to read a bunch of them because I need to catch up on other stuff. So um, I'm not going to be doing a review for everything, and I think that sometimes I might be posting too many reviews. So I think I just might try to limit my reviews to three, four, or five books every week. Like I said, I wanted to give a shout out to LJ Kelly Collectibles for hooking me up with those Phantom Variants. This is when you see Bedlam issue number five. Uh, big thanks to him for uh, taking the time to go to his store and pick up the covers and to get the Jim McCann signings. Um, I also talked to my comic book shop and uh, asked him if he knew anything about the Phantom Variants and he did not. And I told him what the whole thing was, so he's gonna look into it. And hopefully he can join this Phantom Variant group and then maybe Vancouver will get some representation and get some Phantom Variant so I don't have to go online and get them all. So I'll be looking forward to that. If anyone wants to know, my local comic book shop is called Tasmanian Comics and um, it's a huge, nice, pretty shop. It's a little bit further away than some other shops that I could go to but I just like it a lot. Spiro.geek, he's been doing some videos giving shout outs to new YouTube guys. So. Definitely go check Spiro.geek out. I'll have a link in the comment section. And he also has a sort of a wiki page with a list of all the YouTube people that do comics. So go check that out and you can maybe get introduced to some new folks that you aren't watching right now. I've been really busy. I'm still working on this war zone here and work has kept me busy. So there's a lot of other things. So I apologize to everyone for my lack of comments and my lack of views. It's not because I'm ignoring you guys, but I just have so many hours in the day that I try to watch as many as I can and try to 
do some comments, but I also try to read all these books that I have around me. So apologies if I'm not commenting as much as I can. Um, I think my watch later list is like 25 videos long, so eventually I'll get through it all, but apologies. Um, prizes. I just sent out some prizes for my contest winners. It took a while, but I was just waiting for some things. So Bell Comic Girl, uh, Incredible CJ, and VA Comics, you should be seeing your stuff pretty soon. Hopefully it arrives to you safely. Uh, talking about contests, Running With Comics has a contest going on for his 100 subs mark. So go check out his page and he's got a few questions and he's got some dope prizes. Who else? Nerdmom52 has got also a contest for hitting 25 subs. She's got a mystery prize pack, so go check her out. She's asked a question, and it's pretty simple. So give her a look. And finally, um, again, Spiro.geek is trying to get the whole social network integration going on. YouTube has been doing some funny things with the layouts and they're redesigning it, so it's hard to keep track of new videos and new YouTube folks. So he's been asking people to get on Twitter and get connected that way. You can always find me on Twitter. 604 Comics. Message me anytime. I'll reply, whether it's about comics or movies or anything in particular. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, hopefully I can find some of you guys out there. Follow me and that'll definitely let me know that you're out there and then I can follow you guys. So look forward to getting in touch with you guys more. I'm going to be using my Twitter account more often. And um, thanks for watching this another super long video. Um, I'll have my reviews up tomorrow tomorrow evening, and um, have a good day. See you guys.